The topic is the Torana. The Torana is the is the back rest, <clears throat> the thrown back, the the arch, the gateway, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's that's behind the figure of a Buddha or a deity. So basically, you have a throne, and it can be a lion-supported throne or a peacock-supported. We have five animals, basically, that support thrones, and these five animals relate to the five symbolic Buddhas within Vajrayana Buddhism, within the highest uh, Yoga Tantra. Uh, but we also have this, this backrest in Tibetan called a Gyapyol, and this backrest is uh, made up of many different components. Often it can have uh, a pillar on either side of the figure, um, and it can sometimes have a parasol at the top. But we also have certain groupings of animals. We actually have a long list of animals that can be represented in the Torana, but, but it's not consistent. So it, it's not uh, established textually. It's really uh, a question of artistic choice, region, time period, as to what's popular, uh, what the artist wants to do, or what uh, possibly the, the donor or consigner has requested. Now, in terms of the animals, what we have are uh, really starting from the top. Descending from the top, we, we, can, we can have a Garuda, uh, we can have a Kirtimukha, a Kinara, uh, two geese, two parrots, two nagas, two makaras, makaras are water monsters. Um, we can have two boys that are a uh, boy each riding a sharaba on either side, uh, and then below that a lion and an elephant. Now, these are all the different, really, types of creatures, uh, types of beings that can uh, make up this, uh, this Torana uh, in terms of the figures. But again, it's not consistent. Uh, sometimes you, you will only have three of these. Sometimes you might have four, uh, sometimes more. Uh, sometimes you might only have two. You might only have uh, two geese that are representing uh, uh, the, this type of uh, animal thrown back, uh, seated atop two pillars that are on either side of the figure of the Buddha or a deity. Now, there's no Toranas described in, in, in literature for the Buddhas or for the deities. What you will have sometimes is uh, a text will say that a certain um, deity, uh, White uh, Tara or Manjushri, are leaning against a moon disc, or they have a moon disc as a backrest. So this we have. The, the, the decorative Torana it is really uh, manufactured and uh, and it's really created over time uh, and and from different uh, cultural groups in the 18th century in tibet we do begin to have something called uh, sort of a name for this called the six ornaments and the six ornaments is uh, the this gin gindruk is uh, uh, Gindruk Gyapyol is this name for this a certain type of, of uh, thrown back where you have a Garuda, a uh, single Garuda, two Nagas, two Makaras, two boys, two Sharabas, two lions, two elephants. And yes, this is not six, this is seven. So it could be that the two boys riding on top of the, on the backs of the Sharabas uh, are counted as one. I'm really not clear on how they enumerate uh, each of these figures. Now, a Sharaba is a horse-like, half-deer, half-lion, and no, it is not a griffin. A lot of Western art historians like to uh, just refer to it as a griffin, and no, it's not. It's made up of different animals. It is not the European griffin at all. Um, now, the Makara is, uh, is a water monster, um, and it has a kind of a... It has an animal face. It's not really like a fish, but then it has a very elaborate tail. And sometimes this tail you will find on, on kinaras and you'll find on uh, other animals. Uh, so it's, it's really a, a very much a stylized animal and not necessarily something that you can actually find in, in nature. So there are many different types and designs of Toranas. There is no fixed um, doctrinal way to, to uh, present it 
uh, or to discuss it. It is, uh, it is uh, an artistic embellishment of the artist depending on time period, region. Um, uh, it's, it's very much an artistic cultural phenomenon. Uh, and we have, we have literally thousands of examples of different types of Tirana in both sculpture and painting.